And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. So another day, and still top of the table, this smile is simply just staying here at this moment in time, very very much enjoying everything obviously after the weekend, really looking forward to our next game, um, and yeah, we're soon going to get to that point where we're going to be seeing Rangers literally in action two times a week, of course you're Europa League football isn't too far away from returning, which I'm super buzzing about. Uh, the draw, I think, I believe is on Friday. Of course, the last game is going to be played tomorrow, which is Thursday in the sort of last 16 playoff round. And then on Friday, we'll see who our opponent will be um, for the round of 16. So very, very much looking forward to that. Um, and as stated, we'll kind of do a roundup tomorrow after the games. Um to see who those potential opponents could be. But yeah, very, very excited uh, now for the Europa League. Now, whilst we are top of the table at this moment in time, uh, there has been a lot of shifts in the, kind of the bookies markets and stuff like that with regards to uh, title favourites and where ranges are going to finish. But the sort of coefficient geeks out there, if you like, have taken a look at what the Champions League could look like next season. I know it's so freaking early at this moment in time, but there is a big nugget of information that makes for very, very very good reading if you are a Rangers fan. Now look, listen, over the last few years or last few seasons, I've got credit all the way going back to when Steven Gerrard came in, we have made an incredible rise up the European coefficient um, on an individual level as a club and for our country, Scotland. Um, and that's seen us really, you know, go up there for, like in sort of no man's land, land that we're not really used to being in. And due to the coefficient, um, it also gives you better seedings, different placements when you do play sort of Europa League or Champions League group stage football, or as of next season, the new league phase. Now, the new league, uh, new next season, of course, the league phase is going to be coming in, and there is going to be eight games. The Champions League is going to be as lucrative as ever, um, and Rangers do have a very, very good chance of obviously getting that automatic spot into the league phase. Now, as stated, the coefficient geeks have been out and had a little look as to what the projected pots could look like going into next season. There's no sort of surprise at this moment in time. Pot one is the likes of Manchester City, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, PSG, Liverpool, Inter Milan, Borussia, Dortmund, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid. However, this makes for very, very, very interesting reading. And pot two, yes, pot two of the Champions League is projected to be Juventus, Bayer Leverkusen, Benfica, Arsenal, Atalanta, Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, Glasgow Rangers, yes, us, Feyenoord and Spurs. The fact that we're now in contention for being in pot two is honestly crazy. Um, pot three, I won't really go through as much and neither will I go through as pot four. But we're in pot two in the Champions League as things stand should we go on and win the title, which I think is absolutely massive. And now under this new league phase, it's no longer the sort of four groups, but the way that the seeding works, um, being in pot two could give us a really, really good opportunity of actually getting to the knockout rounds of the competition. Um, obviously, should we win the title, um, as you would then be withdrawn against a pot four side, uh, pot three side, and obviously there's eight games to be played. Um, so you can't draw teams from your pot uh, along the way. So we get one from pot one, one from pot three, one from pot four, one from pot one, one from pot three, one from pot four, one from pot one, one three, and then one four. And that's kind of how they protect themselves or protect the sort of bigger teams and they reward the sides with a bigger coefficient. So we could at least play two games, one against a pot four side, one against a pot three side, which would give us a very, very good opportunity of getting to those knockout phases and in further to that making more money now whilst this is a rangers channel it just goes to show how much we have made leaps and bounds with regards to our coefficient i want to shed the light on this one whilst um celtic at this moment in time do if they were to finish second in the in in the scottish premiership they would go into the champions league quarter of, um qualifying round three, navigate themselves through two sets of four rounds, if you like, um, and then obviously do have a chance of getting to the Champions League league phase like we have done over the last previous seasons when we finished second. However, they're currently projected, obviously, to drop out of those qualifiers based on recency and there being better teams uh, that they could go up against in the playoff rounds. And this makes a really grim reading. So whilst they are expected to be in the Europa League, their coefficient only has them in pot three 
three at this moment in time. Yes, pot three in the Europa League. It just goes to show the disparity and how much and the difference between Rangers and Celtic are when it comes to European football, which I found super, super fun, that fascinating. And as stated, they would only be a pot three side. Should Rangers finish second, we would still be a pot one team within the Europa League. So it just shows the absolute difference and the miles between Rangers and Celtic currently and in Europe. But as stated, this is just um, what the coefficient geeks have kind of came out with. And it's a very, very good chance that's what it's going to look like. Obviously, a few sort of teams coming in and out. But guys, if Rangers get to the Champions League next season, we're going to be in pot two, which I think is absolutely bonkers. It's crazy and a really, really good opportunity for this football club to build upon what we've done in the past in European football. And um, yeah, try and bring in some more money at this club and then try and make an impact. We've always made an impact to the Europa League uh, but next season should we win the title and should we qualify I would love to see us make an impact in the Champions League and I really do feel like we can everyone will say that we're the worst team ever but again as I always state you know everything's with context we had James Sands and Leon King at the back we were ravaged with injuries during that first campaign and uh, I do believe we could be a lot better going in uh, to this season's new revamped Champions League, most certainly. So yeah, a bit of fun today, guys. A little bit to having a little look at the Champions League next season. But as stated, we're currently in the Europa League. We're in it to win it. And of course, we have a good opportunity to go and win the title as well. Um, so yeah, plenty to compete for at this moment in time without looking ahead to the Champions League. Um, so yeah, but our next game, of course, is against Hearts. I'm absolutely... Um, biting and chomping at the bit for us to actually start playing again. I'm really excited being back at the top of the table, looking at the European football being played this week. Some underwhelming fixtures, but really looking forward to those Rangers Thursdays returning once again, see how far we could potentially get in the Europa League. But as stated, guys, on Saturday, next up is against Hearts, and we're going to have to be at our best because they're in the best form. They're in the form of their life at this moment in time. Do currently sit third in the old Scottish Premiership, 51 points. I'm 11 points behind Celtic as things stand and as stated um, have been on an impressive winning run that dates all the way back to Celtic at Celtic Park on the 16th of December 2023 they've won every game bar a draw against Ross County so an incredible incredible feat there from Hearts we will have to be our best as stated uh, but Rangers fans that's all I've really got for you today do let me know your thoughts on the Champions League proposed pots down there in the comment section below hit the old like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Push.